Important note. I'll probably be very critical when it comes to faults or something of the like showing up in a game. I also won't be able to play mods based on the Sonic games available on Steam since, as of now, I don't own any of them. I've also picked games based on if it's something I'm interested in or outright no I'll probably like. Please don't be discouraged if your game doesn't end up appearing. There are others that'll probably like that game, but I'm just not one of them. My taste in games can be seen as all over the place and very different from others. Please understand. Each game will have its maker talked about and their name pop up on screen. Also, the games will be linked in the description. Each video will show off two or three games. That's all for this notice. Please enjoy the video. Sega! Sega! Welcome to this next game, which is Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis Blast. It is a 32-era style game inspired by Knuckles Chaotix and Sonic 3D Blast. Story begins after Knuckles Chaotix, where Sonic and friends are looking for Knuckles, who disappeared after meeting with Metal Sonic. Made by NGA Team. I can't change controls, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have the keyboard issue again, I probably. I'll do what I can. New game, character select. Go! Go! I'm gonna wanna turn the volume down on this game, I can tell already. Also cutscenes. Techno Tower. Extra life. I'm guessing I'm supposed to be going up here. Whoops. Yep. Nope. Oh. We. Well, that happened. There we go. Destruction going on. Oops. Freaking caterpillar. Nope. Speeding. Oh boy. Oh boy. Time it. Okay. Keep going up, apparently. And we're on a ship now.
Nope, can't go through that, okay. I don't have any rings right now, that's not good. Can't quite tell where I can go as well, that's also not good. There's some rings at least. Oh, I can go straight up here. Aww. Go away, robot. Jump over you. Whoa, that was close. Checkpoint. No, huh? Is that the end of the stage or? Oh. And suddenly Persona music for some reason. What was that? What did that? What? Oh, he's shooting it from the, okay. He shot it up in the air and then, oh no. That was abrupt. <laughs> and Mike Wazowski. Good job. Yep, that was really smooth. No complaints here about that. And it looks like that was the only level to this only le that was the only level to this demo. That probably could have been done a lot faster if I The only like minor complaint I can see is so many aesthetics like Backgrounds like multicolors like blended a bit too much, but maybe that's Maybe that's a Sonic Mania thing. I don't know. I haven't played that Yet so Anyway, that was fun. So I'm um, on to the next game Okay, so me being a dumb dumb I forgot to press record for this game, so I'm actually gonna start it here in the the second zone Hand-drawn Sonic 2 Reimagining is a redone version of the Master System Sonic 2. Hand-drawn Sonic 3D and Knuckles style progression, drop dash, spin dash, and payoff for Sonic. New level design, remix music from the Sonic community, made by Just John 43 So the first zone I ended up doing was basically, um, the lava, um, minecart level with the weird, like, I don't know, antlion looking pincer boss thing t done twice. First one was with Eggman and I hit him a few times to make him sh shoot the um, ball thing to hit the other ant, hit the antlion and that was the first antlion boss. And the second antlion boss was with um, spikes that fell from the ceiling, but unfortunately the boss spawns on the ground in completely random spots and if you get unlucky with your jumps or where you move, you could actually land right on top of that boss and take damage, so... The second boss of the alien fight was a bit too RNG-ish, and I actually died a few times, and... I was actually annoyed by that, but apart from that, the, the game so far has been real, been fine. Unfortunately, like I said, because I failed to record that, it's not blind there anymore, and I want to... Try to do most of these blind as I possibly can so I won't be showing that first zone off you're gonna have to look elsewhere play the game to find out and let me guess it's very unfortunate because let me guess this is the end of the demo because of how quickly that what quick that was which means I ended up playing most of the demo without recording it
Yep. Okay. In that case... Let me go show off what I mean by the first zone then. Because that was unfortunate. So yeah, it's basically this with the lava and the minecart rise thing. I'm not going to do too much because, like I said, I already played it and thought I pressed the record button, but apparently I didn't. Because I are smart. The entrance animation is actually really good. Which, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of surprised about because... That's going to be a little bit, j little bit janky looking, but it actually looks really, really nice. Also, when you crouch down like this, if you look at it, it looks almost like a normal looking hedgehog there. Yep, did it the exact same way as it did before. That was bad, though. Okay, I actually managed to get up there last time and went, went from the upper path more, so going down here is a bit different for me. And am I actually going to die on the first... I didn't die on the first day, first axe before, so... That I was going to for a second there. And we got a shield. Here we go. That path looks a bit different for me this time. Don't hit the spikes. And another minecart. And I missed that jump. Oh, I actually need to take this path this time. And then you force take damage to get off the minecart there. Am I almost at the boss already? Yeah, I'm already at the first boss. <laughs> okay, so I'll just beat this boss again and then I'll send the demo off here. So yeah, it is unfortunate that my re I thought I was recording, but actually wasn't in... Basically did all of the demo without recording. Whoops. But yeah, that other small act zone was paper zone, and it was really weird that, that ball thing just stuck where it was and moving back and forth, so... I guess that was just a currently in... currently being developed drawn zone... zone act thing, and that was quick. And I managed to do the drop dash thing right there at an interesting moment. Because I think I did a drop dash, I wasn't quite sure. And this interesting cutscene thing. A cutscene image. Well, Sonic there's looking mad and disappointed at me for not re recording most of the demo. That's all. I'll sh that's all. I'll show off. Like I said, sorry for the accidental mistake of playing most of it without recording. Whoops. But yeah, this is actually really good uh, how it is so far. Backgrounds are nice. The hand-drawn style is actually really nice. But the boss in this particular act zone, like I said, is RNG the way it spawns on the ground randomly. And you could accidentally, without any warning, just jump and touch the boss as soon as it comes out of the ground, which is unfortunate. Anyway, on to the next game. Epic Studios. Okay, next game we have here is Havoc Fox. Havoc Fox is a 2D platformer inspired by Mick Man ZX and Freedom Planet. Plays either Grey, a sword-wielding, vice-wearing fox, or Venice, a rabbit dog hy a rabbit dragon hybrid with an owl companion. Fight the Carpet Kingdom of Ven Venice. 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 I might actually just put that name, put that word up on screen because I 
Don't know how to pronounce that word. Venalaya, to stop the Tyrant King. Made by Havoc Dust. Options, keyboard controls. S is to de that's a bit weird. Free map. Up, down, left, right. Jump, dash, melee, range attack, special attack, weapon switch, pause, advanced, advanced text will also keep his melee attacks so Z. And there we go, okay. Level select. Apparently this demo has two levels, one for each character. Uh I'm going to Moonlight Cave Retro Raven, Miracle City, Atomic Trophy, or Entropy. Bleh. Uh That's our construct. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna choose Venice the Dragon here. Uh, yeah, Miracle City. Nope. Ugh, this is so boring. If I knew my first day on the volunteer force was gonna be this slow, I'd have stayed in flight school. And apparently, voice acting. Spooky, I'm just excited. This is everything Ronnie and I always dreamed of, but ugh, why can't someone commit grand arson or something? I gotta turn the volume of the game down a little bit. There we go. D Thanks, computer. Too happy about be people being in danger, but okay. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit for me to... Man, your jump is... It's relaxing today, don't you think? 
But robots are attacking. Well, I guess I can't. They can't climb then. And apparently, neither can I. The. You don't jump that high, do you? Rules, be nice, work hard, don't post. Don't post fake rules. Hmm. Dead. Get up there. I see the limit on my um, dashing over there. Okay. <laughs> Computer virus acting like a actual da dangerous thing. <laughs> Attacking. Yeah, honestly, Spooky Dale's um, range attack actually feels more, a lot better than the melee attack of. Venice herself, so that's unfortunate. Sometimes people say people say my lap is infectious. That's not relevant? Maybe so, but still not a bad thing. So don't mind Breeze, she's nervous. Evasion? Oh not my problem. Why were this happening around here in the past? Welcome to Technovend. We don't have anything. Come again. I had a little green bunny. You look cute. I feel a bit uncomfortable with you staring at me. Can you stop, please? Okay then. Oops. Hi, how are you? Look like you're working really hard. Good luck. So besides that one citizen and a main employer apparently doesn't seem like most people are really in danger at all. Ooh, I did not like the noise of that. Sound good. Yeah, why would you bother using melee attacks? Seems like all the long range attack is a lot better in almost every way. Which means I'm assuming the other character is mainly. Ma the other character is mainly melee focused, so that would actually be a problem. Did she see? 
seriously just lock us in here? Is this a cafe? Seems impractical to hide in, too. Hey, are you just gonna ignore us? Oh, did the pushy guard make you guys hide, too? Us hiding? Oh, honey, we're just here to handle anybody who might be thinking of getting in the way of Fonz's plan. And if you're here, it looks like we've got another target. What? Uh, hey, don't be rash. I'm sure we can just talk this misunderstanding out. So this up wasn't gonna handle this runt. Did I just... I think I might have just skipped the boss. Um, whoops. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were very indeed made. Definitely indeed made. Because considering the quality of the production quality of this, I'm pretty certain there's going to be a cutscene after I actually defeat that boss. And well, I think I just skipped all that. Yeah. That, whoa, that, that was a bit weird. These are like the weirdest pipes I have ever seen. And yeah, those are their things are still that weird no Well then. Welcome! My name is Techno, your personal virtual shopkeeper. Don't know why I didn't say it the first time. Small one will pull automatically heals two hit points. I'm happy heals four hit points. Those other ones spike hit. A flame shield protect from fire and convert shots to bursts of heat. Come again! Hey, wait. Welcome! How may I would you like to buy this? Thank you very much! Come again! And you can just hold this down. Okay, that's not broken at all. You know, until you... Until the game actually uses logic and, well... Puts the fire out. <laughs> okay then. This is a very slow looking class. Impatience is a problem with these types of games. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for this game. This is that this I can actually see being really really good as well. Um Wasn't expecting the voice acting. That's a nice addition. And uh yeah, skipping that boss, I'm pretty sure I accidentally that was indeed not supposed to happen. So yeah, might want to look into that. Whoops. Anyway, on to the next game.